Hello everyone, welcome to EPG Patshala. I am Dr. Anil Prakash Sharma, Director, Ideal Institute of Management and Technology and School of Law, GGSIP University, Delhi. Today, we will discuss the module Professional Ethics of Inclusive Education Teachers and Teacher Educators. Now we will have learning objectives. There are five learning objectives and these are, first, to define and identify the key principles in the domain of professional ethics. Secondly, to describe and to understand the role of professional ethics to become effective practitioners of inclusive education and teacher educators. Thirdly, to suggest ways to incorporate the code of conduct in the practice and professional functioning of inclusive education teacher. Fourthly, to provide a blueprint of professional ethics for inclusive teachers and teacher educators in terms of six key principles and lastly, to clarify the meaning of inclusive education and teacher educator. The keywords for our modules are profession, ethics, code of conduct, education, inclusive education, teaching, teacher education, and teacher educators. Teaching is considered to be a noble profession because teachers not only teach skills for vocation but also help the student for a worthy living and holistic development. This is more so for the teachers who are engaged in teaching the children belonging to disadvantaged groups who face discrimination and learning barriers. Teacher educators play a significant role in inclusive education system as they are engaged in the preparation of teachers who are capable of being effective in inclusive classrooms. The role of the inclusive teacher is not simply restricted to the dissemination of knowledge or imparting information, rather it goes far beyond to create a stimulating learning environment for ensuring all students to reach their full potential. They are the facilitators of learning and role models for their students. Therefore, it becomes essential for them to understand their students' needs in the broader educational and social context. They are professionally and ethically bound to nurture such environment which guarantees the equal opportunities to all their learners. When teachers and teacher educators have such an important role to play to make inclusion successful, it becomes essential to think upon and explore the code of professional ethics for guiding their practice, judgments and decisions effectively. The module primarily aims at providing a blueprint of professional ethics for inclusive teachers and teacher educators in terms of six key principles. But before that, let us clarify the meaning of inclusive education and teacher education. Inclusive education teacher and teacher educators can be described as a system of education wherein students with special educational needs spend most or all of their time with non-disabled students. Research suggests that inclusive education should not be defined by physical and cognitive disabilities alone. It should be defined taking a full range of human diversity with respect to ability, language, culture, gender, age, and of other forms of human differences. The students belonging to the special class can be profoundly affected by the way we feel, we see, and judge them. When we view them disabled and inferior, their abilities seem to diminish. Therefore, it is crucial that all policymakers, school boards, administrators, counselors, teachers, parents, 
and students ensure inclusive practice in all aspects of educational environments. Now, there are two important components in any teaching and learning process, students and teachers. Besides them, another important player in the teaching process is the teacher educator. The teacher who teaches the teachers, the teacher educators train and prepare the teachers. They need to be equipped with some specific knowledge, behaviors, skills, and attitude to perform their tasks effectively in the classroom meant for inclusive education. The teacher, educators, training is often divided into these stages. Initial teacher training, training at induction level, and continuing professional development. However, the most important training for the teacher engaged in inclusive education is the ethical code of conduct and professional ethics. Now, let us discuss what is the professional ethics. Professional ethics is a vocation founded upon specialized educational training, the purpose of which is to supply disinterested objective counsel and service to others for a direct and definite compensation for business gain. Professionals and those working in acknowledged professions exercise specialist knowledge and skill. Professionals are capable of making judgments, applying their skills, and reaching informed decisions in situations that the general public cannot because they have not received the relevant training. Ethics or moral philosophy is the branch of philosophy that involves systematizing, defending, and recommending concepts of right and wrong conduct. As a branch of philosophy, ethics investigates the questions, what is the best way for people to live? And what actions are right or wrong in particular circumstances? In practice, ethics seeks to resolve questions of human morality by defining concepts such as good and evil, right and wrong, virtue and vice, etc. Ethics or morality can be defined as an academic and practical activity in which we define ethical terms and behavior and differentiate right from wrong action. In ethics, we also evaluate the voluntary actions of self and others as desirable and non-desirable. How the knowledge and expertise of the professionals should be governed can be considered a moral issue and comes under certain code of ethics, which can be called as professional ethics. Professional ethics encompass the personal, organizational, and corporate standards of behavior expected of professionals. Most professionals have internal codes of practice that members of the profession must follow to prevent exploitation of the client and to preserve the integrity of the profession. This is not only for the benefit of the client, but also for the benefit of those belonging to the profession. Disciplinary codes allow the profession to define a standard of conduct and ensure that individual practitioners meet this standard. By disciplining them from the professional body, if they do not practice accordingly. It also maintains the public's trust in the profession, encouraging the public to continue seeking their services. Now, let us discuss the code of the conduct for the professionals engaged in inclusive education and teacher education. Professional ethics for inclusive education teachers and teacher educators as professionals Inclusive teachers and teacher educators are required to constantly engage with the ethical codes in a critical manner, taking into account 
the educational value of the teaching and learning situations and processes. The code is intended to encourage inclusive teachers and teacher educators to adopt an informed approach to their teaching and to reflect on the good and correct practices as professional teachers. We will discuss the following six components of the professional code of conduct for the teachers in inclusive education. Trust in the profession. Maintaining trust in the profession by inclusive education teachers and teacher educators is the foundation of the whole spectrum of professional code of ethics of their functioning. Inclusive education teachers and teacher educators are required to base their relationship with students on mutual trust and respect, have regard to the safety and well-being of students under their responsibility, respect the uniqueness and diversity of the learning community they are part of, work in a collaborative manner with colleagues and other professionals, develop and maintain good relationships with parents, guardians, and caregivers, act with honesty, integrity, and fairness, be sensitive to the need for confidentiality where appropriate, take responsibility for maintaining the quality of their professional practice, create learning experiences which engage, motivate, and challenge students in an inclusive setting with a lifelong learning perspective. Professional relationships with students. Assurance of quality in educational endeavor of the inclusive teachers and teacher educator requires building unbiased and fair relationship with their students, which in other words can be termed as uh, adhering to the principles of professionalism. Therefore, the inclusive education teachers and teacher educators are required to maintain professional boundaries while in school and out of school, avoiding improper physical contact, avoiding inappropriate communication via any form of media. The members of the teaching profession are duty bound and are ultimately responsible to maintain a professional distance. Conduct personal interventions with students professionally and behave in keeping with their unique position of trust and status as role models. Follow behavior management policies and guidelines as directed by the relevant school, college and education authorities. Act appropriately towards students exercising care in language, gestures and attitudes. Act with a professional attitude and behavior at all times. Respect the uniqueness and diversity of students. Only acknowledging the diversities in the classroom is not enough. Rather, respecting and appropriate responding to the diversities are also essential to become effective in inclusive education settings. Therefore, the inclusive education teachers and teacher educators are required to demonstrate respect for diversity maintain fairness and promote equality irrespective of gender, race, religion, sexual orientation, appearance, age, language, or different needs or abilities. Maintain an up-to-date knowledge and understanding of the current child-centric practices. Contribute to the creation of a fair and inclusive school environment by addressing discrimination, stereotyping, and bullying and identify and refer to the competent authorities any issues that might impact on students' welfare and interests at an early stage. Collaboration with colleagues, parents, etc. The teacher is not working in isolation. To be effective in their initiatives and endeavors, teachers are required to work in collaboration with all the relevant stakeholders including fellow teachers, parents, guardians, and caregivers. The requisite collaboration can be established in the following manner. 
by the inclusive education teachers and teacher educators. Work in a helpful and cooperative manner with colleagues and other professionals who work in multidisciplinary teams. Respect, support, and collaborate with colleagues in matters related to the education of students. Not to reprimand, rebuke, or criticize any colleague or any other member of the teaching profession in the presence of students or in public. Refrain from making public statements which bring the profession into dispute. Respect the role that parents, guardians, and caregivers have in students' education. Engage and work positively with parents as far as possible in an open and respectful way. Ensure that their communications with parents, students, and colleagues comply with those policies and procedures issued at school or college level, as well as those education policies and procedures issued at national level. Demonstrate respect for diversity when dealing with colleagues, parents, guardians, or caregivers in their capacity as patterns in the educative process and make every effort to encourage parents, guardians, and caregivers to engage themselves actively in the education and welfare of children in their care. Honesty and integrity. Maintaining honesty and exemplifying personal integrity are very important for success of teachers and teacher educators in inclusive setup. Therefore, inclusive education teachers and teachers shall comply with policies and procedures issued at school, college, or national education level regarding to the use of property, facilities, finances, and ICT in their educational setting. Conduct assessment and examination related tasks with integrity and in accordance with official regulation and procedures. Represent themselves, their experience, professional position, and qualifications honestly. Disclose confidential information within the parameters allowed by legislation. Be mindful of their position as a role model to students. And be mindful of their behavior and attitude in their personal and professional life. Updating professional knowledge. Success in the teaching profession demands keeping continuous pace with the emerging new knowledge in the profession. Therefore, the inclusive education teachers and teacher educators are required to maintain high standards of practice in relation to teaching and learning, classroom management, planning, monitoring, assessment, and reporting. Keep their professional knowledge and skills updated throughout their teaching career. Keep updated their knowledge of relevant guidelines and educational developments in their teaching post in relation to teaching in general. Reflect upon and evaluate their practice as part of their continuing professional development. Be open and respond positively to constructive feedback regarding their teaching practices and seek support, advice, and guidance where necessary. While concluding, I would like to say that the domain of professional ethics as the precursor to the success in the profession for inclusive education teachers and teacher educators is very wide. However, the broader domain can be defined in terms of six key principles, covering almost all the possible dimensions of the professional code of ethics. These six key principles can be enlisted as adhering, trust, maintaining professional relationship, respect for diversity, honesty, integrity, and keeping updated knowledge respectively. My dear students, before concluding, let me also tell you one more thing. Let's talk about who is a good teacher. A teacher is thought to be the backbone of the country. 
architect of the society, closest to the children. He is self-confident, inquisitive, faithful, dutiful. He is simple and humble. He is a role model for the learners, promoter of participatory approach, civilized ideal citizen, and above all, he is a good friend, a good philosopher, and a guide. He is sincere and he is hardworking. If we see about social qualities of a teacher, then a teacher is socially sensitive, professionally committed, autonomous, and he is accountable and fast renewing. He is always thought to be a constructivist and connectionist. He connects all the people of the society. He is considered to be an ICT skilled person. He needs to know a lot of things about the technology that is prevailing in the country at a particular time. He is thought to be an action research oriented person and he is required to be humane and professional outlooker. He is also expected to be an e-teacher and e-partshala oriented along with multiple intelligence and universal outlooker. But the tragedy is that sometimes the teacher feels void of being a teacher and end up the day in non-teaching activities. A teacher is expected to fit everywhere. Now the question arises, what kind of teacher we are looking for in this country? We know from the ancient times, India has been considered the Jagat Guru. The universities of Takshila, the University of Nalanda are very famous for the destiny makers. The teacher basically is considered a nation maker. He makes the nation. When the teacher gives his knowledge, the light, the enlightened, the delighted people come to him and bow to him. So this is what we are looking today in the society. We need a teacher who really loves his students, who really is bold, who really is a reformer, who really is a social reformer, who really is a good leader also when it comes to the training of the students. A leader can take the students to the position where he himself has been in his life. And a teacher is always standing on the higher pedal of the students. Because from that higher position, he can always pull up the students from that pedal. And in order to reach to that position, the student should have full faith in the teacher full respect for the teacher. Only then a teacher can command. We have plenty of examples in the society, in our Vedic literature, in all the epics, that the teacher has always been considered as guru, as great god. Without the requirement of the knowledge, the teacher gives the knowledge to the students. And when this knowledge is given to the students, the student gets enlightened. Guru Govind Dohukhade, Kake Lage Pai, Balihari Guru Aapne, Govind Deo Bataye. Without the support of the teacher, we cannot go to search even the God also. So here, what we are looking for is that a teacher needs to be ethical. But at the same time, when we are talking about the teacher, we should also talk about the students. The students also should be motivated enough to learn from a teacher. A good teacher can produce good students. A good soldier always becomes a good commander. Similarly, a good student can become a good teacher. And for that, a lot of struggle has to be done. A lot of hard work has to be done. And the teacher sees to it that the students which he is teaching is capable of doing that. Even if he finds the student is not capable of doing that, still he can find out he can find out the ability in the student. And remember you one thing, that 
the ability to recognize the students there the teacher should also have himself or herself the ability to recognize the same and a good teacher will always find a good student when working with them and this is not only the classroom environment but at the same time this environment can be found at the premises of the school at the college of the university everywhere wherever the teacher goes if the student is good enough he will learn not from formal education but at the same time informal education also what do we mean by informal education informal education is that where the teacher is walking around the students and whatever the teacher says the student learns a lot of his experiences and an experienced teacher always takes the students to the apex of his position and when we talk about the position great teachers have always taken the students to the great positions this is what we mean by a good teacher along with being ethical professionally committed honest sincere this valuable quality is always required in the teacher and one more thing i would like to tell you over here that a teacher is never afraid of the consequences he is always brave enough to face all the oddities of his life and this is how he teaches his students also to face all the music of life and in this in all the circumstances in this way he leads from the front he does not tell the students to follow him rather he says to come with him and scale the heights of their life while summarizing this can also be said that what we have discussed so far is like this teachers play an important role in inclusive education system the importance of the role of teachers and the teacher educators play automatically gets highlighted as they are concerned with the preparation of professional and competent teachers in the inclusive education the role of inclusive teachers gets far behind the dissemination of knowledge they are responsible to create a stimulating learning environment for ensuring all students for their holistic development and they are required to become the facilitators in students learning they are expected to produce quality contribution to the domain of their functioning and profession of teaching it demands exploration of the code of professional ethics for guiding teachers and teacher educators practice judgments and decisions thus a blueprint of professional ethics is provided in this module for inclusive teachers and teacher educators in terms of six key principles the code of conduct is intended to encourage inclusive teachers and teacher educators to adopt an informed approach to their teaching and practices as professional teachers maintaining trust in the profession by inclusive education teachers and teacher educators is the foundation of the whole spectrum of professional code of ethics to teachers and teacher educators in inclusive teaching building unbiased and fair relationship with students or adhering to the principle of professionalism helps the teacher on the path of becoming effective in terms of teaching quality becoming professional to ensure quality and to make inclusion successful also requires teacher to acknowledge and respect the diversities in the classroom the teacher is not working in isolation for being impactful in their initiatives and endeavors teachers are required to work in collaboration 
with all the relevant stakeholders, including fellow teachers, parents, guardians, and caregivers. Maintaining honesty and exemplifying personal integrity are very important for success of teachers. And teacher educators in inclusive setup. Success in the teaching profession demands keeping continuous pace with the emerging new knowledge in the profession. With this, we come to the end of this module. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot.